So instead of talking about the elephant in the room, we are gonna talk about the spider in the room, the wolf spider in the room. So I'm definitely kidding about the whole spider thing, but we do need to talk about it. Um, and I actually have the new fragrance from Sol de Janeiro. If you haven't seen, there have been some crazy claims going around about this fragrance in particular. Um, I'm going to give you guys the information that we have on the topic, and I'm also going to give you guys my review of this new scent. I'm a huge fan of Sol de Janeiro. I have done ranking videos where I rank every single Sol de Janeiro scent from my least favorite to my favorite. I will have the two that I've done linked down below. Um, I also have a discount code with Sol de Janeiro. You can use code PAGE10 for 10% off. I will have their website linked down below. And I'll let you kind of know my favorites, my typical scent preferen preferences. Scent prefer <laughs> Oh my gosh. Scent references that's so hard to say for some reason um so yeah we'll get into all the details i'll tell you the notes my thoughts on the fragrance and kind of about the whole spider situation so sol de janeiro did send this to me in pr which i am forever grateful for sol de janeiro has been one of my favorite brands for many many years and um they are absolutely incredible i love them and it's so amazing to see their i mean they've always been successful but i feel like recently on tiktok they have had an extraordinary amount of success and i'm just so happy for them um they're a great brand they are sold at sephora as well as ulta now i saw they just started selling them in ulta um or their own website which is where i have my discount code with them so Let's get into the details. So this is Charosa 59. They released a body butter as well as a fragrance mist. It's such a pretty like deep purple color. It's I feel like purple, even though peach is like the color of the year, I feel like purple is also the color of the year. <laughs> so Charosa 59 perfume mist and uh, Delicia drench body butter i don't know if i pronounced that correctly um but it says that it relieves dry skin repairs the moisture barrier and then of course this is just a fragrance mist so as far as the spider drama goes i actually didn't know about the spider drama until i saw sol de janeiro make a post kind of clearing things up but basically this all stemmed from a review that was left on the sephora website uh they gave it a one star review this person i'm not sure the name of this person um but the review says scent attracts wolf spiders which is honestly terrifying that is a terrifying thought um like no absolutely not <laughs> it's funny because when i told my mom about like everything that was going on i was like yeah so this person left a review and they said that it attracts wolf spiders and my mom was like well at least wolf spiders like aren't poisonous <laughs> i was like okay well that doesn't help the situation but um the claim itself is has been debunked and is untrue um but this person said if you're scared of wolf spiders watch out for these lotions lol i wanted to love them so bad but one of the ingredients basically attracts wolf spiders i'm not going to read this whole review but you can google it and look it up um so basically uh they it says <laughs> normally they see one every like three years um but when she used this she saw one every single day it's kind of a very very dramatic review uh if i do say so it says be careful if you're frightened of spiders especially especially the big wolf ones um so yeah and then it says please don't hurt them if you wear this when they appear just put them in a cup and place them outside <laughs> so the review is very dramatic like i said um but sol de janeiro did end up making a statement and they said that um they didn't think that this is how they'd be wrapping 2023 up by becoming an urban legend uh, but it says all of our products including the new ones are free from the ingredients um that may like attract spiders or were like supposedly the ingredients that were attracting spiders um and then it says so while they may attract a lot of attention from people they won't from arachnids even though we love all creatures at sol de janeiro <laughs> so the spider claims are false they are not true i've had several comments regarding their products attracting spiders on my videos and it's just continuing to spread misinformation so i'm here to clear the air make sure everybody knows that you are safe from wolf spiders you won't 
see wolf spiders because you are wearing this product. <laughs> um, so yeah, now let's get into the actual fragrance. So a couple of things I wanted to mention, something that is super cool. So I guess this spray has not launched yet. The cream has launched, but you can actually be like one of the first to try out the body mist because with any purchase $50 or higher, you get a free 30 milliliter size of this. This is like the regular size. Um, this is 90 milliliters, but you get a free 30 milliliter product of this body mist with any $50 purchase or more. So uh, this is on their website, so keep that in mind. Um, but the cream is already available for 48 US dollars. I'm not sure how much the fragrance scent is gonna be, I would assume, whatever their typical cost or, yeah, cost is, which I think is $24. So the fragrance notes are, the top notes are velvet, plum, and sugared violet. The mid notes are vanilla orchid and whipped amber, and the dry notes are sheer sandalwood and fresh vetiver. <laughs> so um, some of those I'm not, like, I can't, like, think of what they smell like, but I will say, when I smell this, you guys, this is incredible. This is my almost perfect scent and that is hard to say because I do like a lot of fragrances and I definitely lean towards the sweeter side of things. This fragrance is something that is not overly sweet but it still has that like sugary vanilla kind of scent to it but I think like the amber and the sandalwood really kind of tone it down a bit but this smells the it's it smells i'm trying to get my words together here it's almost like pink sugar's older sister so if you know what pink sugar smells like i actually have it right here it's very sweet very sugary you may have used this in high school i still use this to this day this is my all-time favorite fragrance this chirosa 59 scent the new one smells like pink sugar but just like a little bit more mature a little bit less um less high schooly, if that makes sense i will wear this no problem and i'm 26 almost 27 years old but i love this and i will wear this with no shame but i know again not everybody likes this kind of i don't want to call it a juvenile scent because you can wear whatever you want but i know a lot of people kind of associate this with teenage years but this is like the grown-up version of this. It smells so incredible. It really doesn't smell very strong in the container itself, but on your skin, it's beautiful. And it's definitely more of like, I would say like a unisex scent than the original Pink Sugar. Um, the notes itself, I think it, again, it's like the, the amber, the sandalwood, just kind of make it a little bit more like neutral or unisex um it's definitely a good layering fragrance i actually haven't even sprayed this yet i've only tried the body cream out so far what do they call it a body butter it feels incredible on your skin like this is thicker than their typical lotions i'll show you you can really see a difference between this one here this is the beha floor elastic cream this one is oh my gosh there's a poncho hair in here um this one is more of like a shiny like wet consistency and then this one is like a thicker whipped consistency so you can definitely see the difference here um in texture but and you can tell i love this one this is one of my favorite fragrances i'll let you know like my top four sol de janeiro fragrances but truthfully i think this is my new favorite I think this beats all other Sol de Janeiro fragrances and that says a lot for me. The rest of the description for, oh my gosh, I cannot get this on. My hands are all like lotion-y. The rest of the description for this says, um, get drenched in delicious moisture. This whipped ultra rich body butter supports the skin's barrier and penetrates deep below the surface to lock in moisture and relieve extra dry skin this is like the most hydrating but not like oily feeling body butter i feel like i've ever tried um so again i know i'm saying a lot but it's because this is truly 
so nice. And I actually didn't even make the connection of pink sugar until I applied it to my hands yesterday and my mom was over and um, I put some on and I was like, oh my gosh, this smells so good. And then I walked by my mom and she was like, ooh, pink sugar. And I was like, I'm not wearing pink sugar. And then I realized, I was like, oh my gosh, it's the new lotion. So um, shout out to Nikki for putting things together to realize that this smells like the older sister version of <laughs> pink sugar, but it has hyaluronic acid in it. It has prebiotic hibiscus, um, Brazilian soothing complex, and a B-A-C-U-R-I butter. I'm not sure how you pronounce that word, um, but it smells incredible, 10 out of 10. Now let's go ahead and spray this. This is my first time spraying the fragrance, but I'm assuming it smells the same. Mmm, <laughs> yes, it smells so good. I feel like this spray almost has a little bit more of like the plum forward. It's a little bit more plum forward than the body butter, which is more vanilla forward, but this smells so good. So again, I'm not sure when this launches. I'm pretty sure it launches this month, but um, if you want like a free sample of it, which is a third of the full size, $50 or more purchase on their website, and then you can also use my code for 10% off. So, um, Soul de Janeiro is cruelty-free, which I love. Um, this product is gluten-free. I don't know if they all are, but specifically this one is gluten-free, sustainably sourced, paraben-free, and vegan-friendly as well. So as far as like my scent preferences, I'm looking for the lid to, oh, here it is. My, my body butter. Um, my scent preferences. My top four Sol de Janeiro fragrances are, let's see, this one, which is Chirosa 68, the light pink. We've got Chirosa 40, which is the kind of like red colored one. Chirosa 62, which is the OG. And then also After Hours, which was a limited edition one, which unfortunately is no longer available. But this one has Midnight Jasmine, Amber Woods, and a few other things. So those are my top four fragrances. These, these four right here. But top three, like ones that are still currently available, are these. They are amazing. I love all of them. But I must say, the new one, Chirosa 59, it tops all three of the previous favorites, in my opinion. And it's very different from these other ones, which tend to lean more like fruity or nutty. This one is definitely vanilla. Like this is a true, like this is vanilla. It's not like, I don't know. It's, it's fantastic. It's like a woodsy vanilla. Great, love it. These two are kind of a little, well, this one's definitely fruity. This one smells like Ariana Grande Cloud, Baccarat Rouge. That's kind of this scent. It's kind of hard to describe. I don't know what the actual notes are, but it's incredible. And then the OG Chirosa 62 is like pistachio, very like nutty and kind of like a gourmand fragrance, but it is so good. And again, this one, you can see how like <laughs> liquidier it is than the new body butter. You can't really go wrong with any Sol de Janeiro fragrance in my opinion, um, but these are the best four <laughs> fragrances. I will have these linked down below in the description box, um, but this one I'm just really excited about. It's so good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I haven't been this excited about a launch in a really long time. Um, this and the uh, Bling Brushes Royal Enchantment Collection, which they both happen to be purple. These are like my top two recent launches. I definitely recommend both of them. Um, but this is so exciting. I love it. I love anytime Sol de Janeiro comes out with something new. So um, I hope you guys check out this fragrance. Don't be afraid of spiders. I hate spiders. Like, I do not do spiders. So at first I was like, oh goodness. 
<laughs> a spider attracting scent, but it's not true. It's it's an urban legend. It's it'll go down in the history books, but it's not true. <laughs> um, I'm thankful that Soleil Janeiro debunked that because that would have been a little spooky. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Um, again, everything will be linked down below. I love you so so much. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.